నమస్తే ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆర్ఎచ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ ఇన్ టు డేస్ టెన్ మినిట్ కాన్సెప్ట్ లెట్ అస్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ బాయిలింగ్ పాయింట్స్ ఇన్ ఆర్గానిక్ కెమిస్ట్రీ నథింగ్ బట్ ఇన్ ఆర్గానిక్ కంపౌండ్స్ సో క్విక్లీ విల్ రివైజ్ దిస్ పార్ట్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫర్ జేఈ నీట్ అండ్ సిఈటీ ఆల్సో ఎస్ బాయిలింగ్ పాయింట్ వెన్ ఐ టెల్ బాయిలింగ్ పాయింట్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ద టెంపరేచర్ ఎట్ విచ్ ద అట్మాస్ఫెరిక్ ప్రెషర్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు that particular vapor pressure or vapor pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure so three trends which affect the boiling point remember first one intermolecular forces between the atoms size of the carbon chain and surface area so these are the three important trend which affect the boiling point so then how intermolecular forces affect it will directly proportional to boiling point if it is stronger the force higher is the boiling point and it is true for each and every compounds remember then size of the carbon chain increase in the number of carbon atoms increase in the boiling point whenever there is a increase in the number of carbon atoms will be there boiling point will increase surface area increase in surface area increase in boiling point we can observe so let us discuss one by one in detail first one intermolecular force so here intermolecular force is in such a way that ionic is higher than hydrogen bonding then dipole dipole interaction then london force which means london force or you can also call it as dispersion force are the weakest force then dipole boy dipole interactions hydrogen bonding and ionic bonding so weakest to strongest you can see that particular pyramid <laughs> now ionic forces means what in case of the organic compounds ionic forces are present between the salts formed by the organic compounds such as cs3ona sodium ethox methoxide sodium acetate so here you can say koe t that is that is ethyl alcohol potassium salt of ethyl alcohol so sodium tertiary butoxide etc have ionic forces hence boiling point will be higher then hydrogen bonding remember look for the molecule hydrogen bonding how you can identify look for the molecule containing oh or nh bonds so alcohols acids amines phenols amides etc will have higher boiling point the reason for that is remember hydrogen bonding which is present between them then dipole dipole interactions so third one dipole dipole interactions remember how to identify look for the bonds between carbon and electronegative atoms like oxygen nitrogen and halogen atoms so generally the uh, dipole dipole forces will be present between the the bonds if there is a present between carbon and electronegative elements like ethers esters ketones aldehydes alkyl halides etc the fourth one is london force or dispersion force remember this type of forces present between all type of molecules all type of molecules it will be present but is the only significant force present in hydrocarbons hydrocarbons this is the only force which is present second point is size of the carbon chain see size of the carbon chain with the type of the forces constant boiling point increases with the increase in the number of carbon we know that as the number of carbon increases molecular mass increases hence definitely size of the carbon chain increases the melting point the boiling point here you can see 1 2 3 4 carbon here 3 carbon 2 carbon amines here hydrocarbons so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then it is 7 then it is 6 like that so uh, 5 carbon like that so here ethers so larger ether small ether smallest ether like that then the fourth third one is surface area remember with the type of forces constant and molecular weight is also constant boiling point increases with increase in the surface area so generally what happens is if the branching increases surface area decreases and boiling point decreases for example you can see more branching is present in here tertiary so 283 kelvin boiling point then the isobutyl so 300 kelvin remember isopentyl it is 300 kelvin right so in this case pentane so 310 kelvin so as the branching increases boiling point decreases because surface area decreases right now you'll see some problems among this so arrange the following in increasing order of their boiling point so 1 2 3 4 i have considered here only my concentration is on boiling point remember that point now you can say out of the four fourth one is having so ionic forces fourth one is having ionic forces third one is having remember 
boiling point that is because of hydrogen bonding oh group is there second one is because of intermolecular force of attraction that is dipole dipole forces because ch2o ch3 it is there ether and here hydrocarbon only van der waals force is there hence remember answer for this particular case is d more than c more than b more than a d is highest then c then b then a yes we will see these examples now very simple these are the example if you perfect definitely can solve any type of questions on boiling point fine in this particular case a b c d it is there now you can see so benzene here it is uh, ethyl uh, this uh, uh, benzyl alcohol so aldehyde and ethyl benzene out of this remember definitely these two are hydrocarbons this is aldehyde this is alcohol that is comes under alcohol definitely b is having answer is remember b is having highest because of hydrogen bonding second one is because of van der waals force of attraction c then out of these two the chain length is more here chain length is less here because of that reason it is d more than a yes quickly we will see the answer in this particular case here you can see so different compounds are given like this so out of the following definitely we can say here there is a ionic force of attraction almost molecular mass is not much difference so the ionic forces are present so hence remember in this particular case third one b is the highest correct ah? so after that you can see here also oh here also oh but larger and two oh groups are present hence definitely more number of hydrogen bonding so d then it is a definitely then it is c like this you can tell the answer right now in this case in this case see abc is there so here there is a hydrogen bonding two hydrogens are there here one hydrogen is there here there is no hydrogen is present which means the answer should be a more than b more than c no doubt in it right so fine see the fifth one so this is an example as the chain length increases now you can see in this particular case number of carbon atom 1 2 here 1 2 3 4 5 here 1 2 3 4 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 here correct so definitely when it is 6 remember hydrogen bonding present in all the four but molecular mass is more in this case hence remember d d more than correct so after that you can see next length is that is for b b then it is remember c then it is remember a right yes we will see in this case see here aldehyde here ketone ketone it is also ketone now you will see in this particular case out of the following aldehyde and ketones will have remember hydrogen bonding tendency compared to that dipole dipole interaction will be more in this case because of the dipole dipole interactions remember so definitely larger the molecule larger is the interaction right so hence in this particular case you can see a and c left because these two are smaller out of a and c you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 carbon, correct? Because of that reason, remember, definitely C is more. Then it comes A, then which comes B and D, out of B and D, which one? So B, definitely, then it comes D, yes. Then, out of the four of these, remember, which is low, lowest and which has highest boiling point. Now tell me the answer, which is lowest, which is highest. So, in this case, branching is more in which case? Branching is more in which case? C. So, lowest will be C. Correct? So, then, there is no branching in this particular case, D. Hence, highest will be D. Here, which is more, which is less, they are asking. C. Definitely here, tertiary it is. Correct? Tertiary. And here it is primary. Hence, B more than A. Understood? right now if the question is like this which one will have highest boiling point so here you can see larger the molecular mass but here there is a hydrogen bonding remember one thing my dear students in such case we cannot decide we cannot decide decide boiling point without experiment experiment then the question is if the in the exam if they ask what to do in exam they will never ask such type of question remember yes thank you for watching have a nice day